these shots, some of those higher clouds really beginning to, to move on in. We have a nor'easter in the making, and we have, of course, what's happening across the south. We have our other system in Canada. It's those two disturbances that'll come together and then produce at the surface our nor'easter. Those are those northeast winds. It's going to be pulling in that Atlantic moisture, so there's rain associated with it. No threat of snow, but you might wish for it because temps into the 40s and 50s with rain and wind, it's going to be pretty nasty this weekend. So gusty winds, especially along the coast, no surprise there, on the order of 20, 30 plus mile per hour wind gusts, not out of the question. So that part of it really kicks in as we get through tomorrow morning from, uh, say, Cape May to New York City by lunch hour, by the lunch hour, and then Nantucket and Boston as we get to late Saturday and early on Sunday where we could be looking at winds gusting over 50 miles per hour. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then by Sunday afternoon, it's Bangor's turn. We've got gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour, but it's still going to be breezy uh, down the shore, for example. So not a great boat weekend. Weather-wise, it's not going to be that great anyway. So you look at the rainfall creeping up tonight by tomorrow all the way up into Burlington and Boston as well as Albany. Saturday night, it continues uh, from Maine and into northern Vermont and New Hampshire. Hampshire, even on into Sunday down East Maine, you've got the rain still coming down even into Portland, Boston, uh, Albany for that matter, and into Providence and Hartford. So again, not a complete washout everywhere all weekend, but it's definitely not going to be picture perfect for mom. As an example, one to two inches of rainfall possible in spots, Chris. All right, Carl, thank you so much. As we take a look at some of what's happening across the south, trying to make its way to the north, that's the start of our nor'easter for the weekend and already that's rain made it the rain has made it into washington dc and that uh the cloud shield has already uh, filtered into New York City. So you're seeing those high clouds from these showers. And this is part of what is going to make our nor'easter, but we also have this in through southern Canada. So those two systems coming together at the surface, we'll see that area of low pressure, that nor'easter, and that is going to bring those driving northeast winds, some of that with heavy rainfall and those gusty winds all through the weekend. So that Atlantic moisture is getting pulled in with our area of low pressure, even on into Saturday night. So really beginning and cranking up Saturday Saturday morning to Saturday night and then even on into Sunday. I think you'll notice it the most at the coast and that's where we think some of the gustier winds will be 20 to 30 miles per hour and not just an hour or two but for a good portion of a Saturday. So you look at the clock and already into Saturday morning you have those winds picking up 20 to 30 miles per hour gusty and that could absolutely have an effect on on air travel. So keep an eye out if you have a ticket out of LaGuardia or JFK uh, those types of airports that could be uh, impacting you. Here we are Sunday afternoon and we still have gusts to 40 in Boston, maybe as high as 50 in Nantucket. So overall, relatively speaking for a nor'easter, lower impact, but obviously it's going to feel pretty nasty and it being Mother's Day, uh, you have to make plans according to that. So by Saturday morning, that rain begins to move in, gets it together here Saturday evening, heavy rain at times through New York, and then by Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, moving on up into Maine.